presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with your host, Steve Rose. Good morning from TFNN. Welcome, folks. This is Terrific Tuesday. Hope everyone out there had a... Uh, just simply a magnificent Monday. Let's make sure that we've got a terrific Tuesday. My outcome during the next two hours is to teach you how to master the tools for trading. And that includes the tools of the mind. Because when you and I, when we master the tools of our mind, we begin to think like a strategist. And that's really important because most people focus on tactics. But what you and I know is that, the real, is that to really master life, we've got to always think like a strategist. A strategist that in trading and investing uses tactical tools like A to B equals CD patterns, swing points, for forming Gertley and butterfly patterns. And, and what you and I know is that using tactical tools is really important. But for us, the real key to trade and investing, the real key to get our money to work harder for us than we do for it is to have a strategy, what I call mastering probability, because using tactics without strategy is a recipe for failure. And failure, folks, it's not an option in our playbook. Not that we don't incur losses. Because we do, as it's a part of any trading strategy. And in trading and investing, it's what we call our spoilage. Just as running a household means throwing out food that has gone bad in our refrigerator. The two are the same. Now, when it comes to trading and investing, we always use stops. And we always have an exit strategy. And that strategy covers both sides of the trade. That means we use a bracketed OCO order. One cancels the other. When we trade like this, we can then create our system expectancy, our ultimate confidence tool when it comes to our decision making. So today, today and every day, let's help everyone that we know to think like a strategist because strategists will slay the tactician all day long. So let's go look at one of our tools to help us think like a strategist. The tool I call from success to failure is one step. From failure to success is a long road. You know, it is said that within each of us is the life we have chosen and the lives we might have led. Think about it. You'll see it's just as true for you as it is for me, our kids, our friends, and everyone else. Within each of us, folks, within each of us is the life we have chosen and the lives we might have led. Our thoughts and dreams of what we might have been or the things we might have done live within each of us. The little boy one day may wish to be a fireman, another day a policeman, and maybe a few weeks later, a doctor. There are many life possibilities for each one of us. Success is finding out which of these possibilities is most meaningful to us. What we choose and what we do with our choices create the road signs of our journey. And if we follow the right road, well, success can be with us through good times and through bad. Success, folks, it's a journey, not a destination. For a destination means the journey's over. So when it comes to success, make sure you give credit and help to all who have helped you. Let me share a true story with you. One example of life's journeys. Back in the late 1800s, an important member of British Parliament was hurrying through the rain and fog of the Scottish countryside to deliver a crucial speech. Miles from his destination, his carriage was forced off the road, at wheels, its wheels plunging deep in the mud. The driver and horse were unable to pull the carriage out of the mud. This speech was so crucial that even the aristocratic Englishman in his formal attire gave a hand to trying to get the carriage out of the mud, but to no avail. Now, a young Scottish farm boy, happy to be driving a team of horses, passed this distraught Englishman, and he volunteered to help pull the carriage loose. After a huge effort, the carriage was finally pulled free. The young boy refused to take any money for his help or for the clothes which were torn and dirty from all of his efforts. The Englishman asked the boy, what he wanted to be when he grew up. A doctor, sir. A doctor is what I want to be. Well, the Englishman was so grateful for the lad's help that he said, I want to help you. And so he did. Now, more than 50 years later, Winston Churchill became dangerously ill with pneumonia while in Morocco. His life was saved by a wandering drug called penicillin, which had been discovered a few years earlier by a Scottish-born physician, Sir Alexander Fleming. As it turns out, folks, Fleming was the farm boy who helped that member of parliament whose carriage got stuck in the mud. Pretty cool, huh? Well, really, it's better than that. You see, the member of parliament that the boy had helped a half century earlier was none other than Winston Churchill's father, Randolph. Remember, folks, give credit 
and help to all who have helped you. It is Terrific Tuesday. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. Right now, we've got Dow Futures off 30 points, trade on at 16,743. S&P Futures off three, trade at 1933. Ah, I guess I've got the old contract up there. NASDAQ futures down a couple points. I'll have to change that here during the show. Russell 2000 off a point. Uh, Goldilocks back tw- 10 bucks right now. It's trading at 1264. Silver's off 10 pennies at 1961. Light Sweet Crude down 25 cents, trading at 106.65. Our call number is 877 927 6648. Give me a call, folks. Happy to take a look at your stock chart. A quick peek around the globe out here. We're going to see that the uh, DAX is off uh, really one point. Very flat market over there. FTSE is off 15 points. It's trading out at 67.38 over in Asia last night. Nikkei was up 42 points, a quarter of a percent. Hang Seng off a little less than a half percent, down 97. And the uh, Shanghai off almost one full percentage point, down 20 points. So, why don't we begin our day? Let's begin our day. Let's begin our day. Take a look at uh, your friend and mine. That's the Euro Japanese yen. Let's go peek in on that. See what it's doing here right now. What the Euro Japanese yen did yesterday was it rejected the lows, and by lows, I'm really referring to the 0.786 retracement level. Nice little girtly buy. We know that this is really an important. Uh, in my opinion, it's a very important pattern that's out here. Number one. When a point seven eight six Gartley pattern forms and confirms, what do I mean by confirm? Well, I mean by confirming at least bouncing off of that level, at least bouncing off of that level. Preferably, you're going to see some type of reversal signal, some type of reversal candle as that pattern is made. And in the case of the uh, Euro Japanese yen, and this there's always five outcomes of every Gertley buy. Outcome number one has been uh, completed. Outcome number one is a move to the point three eight two retracement level. Now. It got that that would have been one forty point eighteen. It actually got up to a high of one forty point oh eight. Remember, the uh retracement areas that we use, the A to B equals C D projections that we use, they're nothing more than guidelines as Barbosa in Pirates of the Caribbean would say out there. Nothing but guidelines. It got close enough. So the first objective was met. And then we saw price move down and in essence test this point seven eight six Gertley buy pattern. And it has thus far held. Yesterday was just simply another test. Real key here today is going to be, well, key today, I don't know whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow. The key is which way is this going to break. If it breaks to the downside, and the point that I was really making here was that in this case here, this is a confirmed point seven eight six Gertley buy pattern no matter how you look at it. And if it fails, what is likely to happen is move into the butterfly pattern. And the butterfly pattern is an expansion to the uh, downside. That would say that the Euro-Japanese yen, if it fails, it would move all the way down to the uh, price point approximately of 134.16. Heck, it could even move down to 131.52. Now, right around the 134.16-ish area happens to be the bottom of this nice rising price channel out here. In fact, it's not really down that low. It's more likely right around the 135, 60, 135.20-ish type area. It just depends on if it breaks. And, and that would be really a, a significant test of this rising price channel if, in fact, price moves below this 0.786 retracement. Why is this so important? Well, it's because of the correlation between the U.S. stock markets and the uh, Euro-Japanese yen the actual carry trade out there. Likewise, this area here, the uh, bears have not been able to bust through that area. If, in fact, price decides to move higher, where is it likely to go? Well, it's likely to get to the 0.618 area. The 0.618 retracement that I'm referring to is from the uh, candle session from March 7th. Now, in this case here, I'll just come all the way down to low that was put in on June 12th. We'll use that swing point out there. And that says uh, 141.43. Or maybe it's just simply going to bounce back up into the 139.94. And what we see here is just nothing more than a consolidation, a lower level consolidation pattern that's out there. But right now, what we see here is this pattern has not given way, even with the uh, futures uh, trading lower out there. And that's one of the reasons why we are just simply taking a look at it. So that covers the Euro-Japanese yen here for the uh, morning. Now let's go take a look at what's going on inside each of the uh, futures contracts and let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at strength let's take a look at weakness strength here we're going to say is the uh, nasdaq future we're going to put that up on the screen out here nasdaq futures right now have a market profile an unfair low a support level that is measured at a price of 37.6230 you can write that one down you can stick that one that feather in your cap out there that's the number to be watching 
Because if you were to see the NASDAQ futures today, not trade down below it, but if you were to see the NASDAQ futures close below it, I would have to give anybody who's bullish a bit of pause out here. Because what it would be signaling, just signaling to the market, is that we would be looking for a little bit deeper retracement out there. Where would that retracement uh, take us to? Well, we'd use our guideline tool, our retracement uh, rule ruler. We would go from the low, by the way, of the candle session from April 15th all the way to the high that uh, was put in here. I don't know. It looks like it was June 12th, June 13th out there. We would uh, take a look at a retracement level, 0.382 retracement, taking us to about the 3651 area. That's at trading at 3770. But in order to do that, it needs to crack below its support, its unfair low, using the uh, market profile. So as we speak right now, NASDAQ is still in bullish mode if you take a look at the uh, daily chart. We get back from this uh, breakout here. We'll go take a look at the other index futures. We'll also go take a look at some of the movers this morning, like GW Pharma, Medtronics, Shire PLC, Kiwi, and BHP Peloton. We'll be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV. 
KFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rose, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Absolutely is, folks. Uh, welcome back. How about that uh, you, uh, Team USA yesterday, that soccer game against uh, Ghana? Now, just so happens that I uh, kind of remembered at the last minute that the uh, that the game was on, so I turned it on with, I don't know, like 10 minutes to go or something like that to uh, watch the uh, USA uh, pull it out in, what, uh, minute 85 or so, something like uh, something like that, 85 or so. And then, to, uh, and then, of course, was the excruciating. Of course, the commentators, they were talking about excruciating pain, you know, because there were five minutes added to, uh, added to play there. And I understand what they were saying, but to me, the excruciating pain would be when you would be behind. And you only have five minutes to go versus when you're ahead by one goal and having uh, five minutes to go out there. In any event, uh, they uh, they did. It was a great uh, header, great uh, point that was scored there. And uh, so uh, so good news. Good news for uh, them. I think that's pretty much the only sports that are really kind of on now. Well, I guess there's obviously baseball. Uh, that's out there. In any event, you didn't want to talk about sports. You wanted to see what's going on inside the uh, markets here. Let's go back and take a look at uh, what's going on inside the Russell 2000 out here. So if we take a look at the futures contract. What you'll see here is a new uh, daily uh, profile. This is a daily chart we're looking at, market profile. Uh, and uh, the uh, the key level of support inside the Russell is going to be 1149.84. That's the unfair low. It's a daily chart we're looking at. Unless that area is taken out, you're not getting any kind of bearish signal inside of the uh, Russell 2000. Yes, it's off of its high out here. That's from the trading session of June 9th. That high is going to be very important because any close above 1175, the actual high is 1175.40. Any close above 1175.40 out there certainly puts with volume. That would set up another A to B equals CD to the upside, and that would suggest higher price. And higher price really means coming back and making the 100% move of a move, which I suspect is what it really wants to do, and that gets back to the, uh, at least do, I should say, that gets back to the uh, March 4th area. I don't know whether that's today, whether that's tomorrow, but uh, before uh, August is out, we should see the uh, Russell 2000 back up at those highs out there. So the Russell 2000, often considered to be a weak link out here, isn't showing the weak link on the uh, daily chart. If we go take a look at this, certainly the NASDAQ at this stage hasn't broken down. A little bit different story inside the S&P futures. If we take a look at the S&P futures, it continues to find resistance at its unfair low. That's the 1934-25 level. So it's giving a message of certainly not being long. Uh, potentially being short, being neutral, but it closed back above 1934.25. Curious what the, the promise that you'd see move up to at least 1946 out there, 1946.50. And any close above 1954.75, well, that would just be downright bullish. We take a look at the uh, Dow out here. We'll see the uh, Dow futures are also trading below their market profile support area, which is priced at 16.769. That's the number to be watching. Any close above that? Would have to say, being short, the Dow is not the message of the market profile out there. However, that is not the case as we speak right now. So what we can see here is we've got the fight going on. Interesting, because we used to have the fight going on between the NASDAQ and the Russell versus the S&P and the Dow. Only it's flipped. Because it used to be the S&P and Dow that were pulling the markets higher, and the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000 that were moving things lower. So it looks like the shoes have turned here. Let's go take a look at, uh, had a request to go take a look at uh, Goldilocks. So let's go do that. Let's see what uh, that's doing on its uh, market profile. Let's take a look at four different time frames out here. 
Let's see if Stevie can do that out here. Of course, Stevie can do just about anything. So if we take a look at four different time frames for the market profiles inside the uh, uh, TAS uh, uh, system out here, we'll take a look at the uh, weekly chart. The weekly chart, for so the longer-term chart out here says 1302.10 is a very key level for it to get above. If it's not above that, it says selling pressure. It says the uh, bears most certainly have control, and that is on the uh, weekly chart. If we take a look at the 240-minute uh, chart out here, the 240-minute chart, market profile. It's a little hammer candle that has formed here in the last uh, during this last session. Of course, we've got a ways to go before that session uh, completes out here. Uh, that would be uh, about uh, 12 noon. Uh, 1272.90 is the unfair low, so it's traveling below that area. That says it's also not in long mode out here. If we take a look at a 120-minute time frame chart out here, 120-minute time frame, this has a, a new market profile that just popped its head up here in the last couple of hours. And that says 1264 is the number. And it closed below 1264, and that would spell lower prices or suggest lower prices really for Goldilocks. If we take a look at the uh, daily chart out here, the daily chart is a real promising area for a uh, gold and that the uh, pullback this morning has come back and very close to testing its old unfair high, its old resistance area, which is now support. That's 1256.60. Close back below that. Not a good news. Not good news for gold. We probably see it continue to trade lower, and I would have to say much, much lower. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. 
no special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. It's always better when we're together Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together And we're up to the races! We got the Dow trade out at 16,754 Down about 25 points The S&P trade at 1930 Five and change off a couple of points. NASDAQ uh, down a couple points, trading at 37.76. Russell 2000 off two bucks, trading at 11.64. NDX, uh, NASDAQ composite off four. The uh, transports down uh, six. The uh, semiconductor index, <laughs> uh, the little rocket ship that will and can and does. It's trading up 85 cents out at 631.79 out there. Volatility index right now trading at 12.76, so it's peaking its head above the 50 day exponential move. Moving average. Let's go to Mike in Dallas, Texas. Mike, uh, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Hey, I'm doing great, Steve. Listen, you had mentioned um, oil or crude oil, and that was the uh, last contract pricing. I was just wondering, what contract are you are you on? You know, I had a continuous contract up on my screen here. What what are you tra are you trading it? Tell me what you're doing then then I, then I can let me try to assist you from that standpoint. Well, I was at uh a, a contract on the uh 814 uh contract where crude is uh So you're looking uh, at an August contract right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. 10607. Okay. And are you long? Are you short? So you're in the Q contract. Are you long? Are you short? I'm short from uh, 106 uh, 55. Okay. Uh, and so the question is, and it's trading right now 106 08 on that contract. So yeah. the the question is for 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 me, so that I can assist you, would be what? How can I help? Tell me tell me what you're looking for. What you're, you know, tell me how I can best help you. Well, you you had mentioned uh, so you were you're on the continuous contract. Okay, that's, that's I probably all. was. Yeah, I probably was when I was on the uh, screen. Let me let me okay. go. Let me go take a look at where that was. I think I'd mentioned that I hadn't flipped over some of the uh, futures uh, contracts out here. So uh, what was that? On? Yeah, that was just on the continuous contract out there. But from okay. a trading perspective, you know, let me let me assist you however I can inside what you're what you're looking. At. So you're looking well, at first. You're looking at the August contracts. So let me put that up on my screen for folks to take a look at. So here is the contract that that Mike is uh, trading, and you're in. I think you said you were in short from the 106. 55. Yes. Okay, 106.55. Yes. Now go ahead. No, I, I was just I when I was in the I was in the trade, and then you had mentioned. Uh, a different a different number or a different I got contract, it. Okay. and I yep. was just thinking, well, you know, be, being a pretty new trader, am I trading the correct contract or not? I mean, I was making. Well, you're money. welcome. I it's just... you've got yes, you, you look, you're, you've got you've got plenty of volume inside there. So so it's a great question. So thanks for calling and thanks for for asking. And specifically, when you're trading a futures instrument, you have to stay with inside. You've got to stay with inside that specific contract. Now, Correct. if we take a look at that specific contract and we take a look at what it has done thus far, if we look for patterns out here. 
what I would do, Mike, is I would first take a look at the lightning bolt pattern, the A to B equals CD, and I would come all the way down to the low on January 13th. I'd use that as my A point. My B point is out here on March the 3rd, and the retracement that it did is down to the level of March 17th. And that gave you a one-to-one price projection of 106.44. And what uh, Light Sweet Crew did on the August contract was really it got up to 106.84. you got to like that. And in essence, it stopped there. Now, yesterday's candle is a reversal-type candle that you wanted to see. So yesterday you got the type of candle you wanted. What you really want to see today is some foul through, meaning lower price. That candle that formed yesterday inside the contract is referred to as a shooting star, which is the opposite of a hammer candle, and it is your one-day reversal signal. Now, what I don't like about the uh, trade is I don't like the uh, wide-ranging bar coming into the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. And that's the uh, trading session from June the uh, 12th. What I don't like, that doesn't mean that your trade's not right, but what you like to see is when you're completing a pattern, when the pattern is being completed on a stark chart, you don't want to see it being a wide-ranging bar that's complete in that area. Because oftentimes the message that that relates to you, what the bulls and the bears are telling you, is that it wants higher price out there. Yeah. With it wanting higher price, there are multiple A to B equals CD patterns on the uh, chart. If I take my C point, my March 17th high, come up to our low, come up to the high on April 16th, and a retracement down into April 5th, you'll see you've got a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD. So you had two A B equals CD patterns that were completed, and I believe we're going to find out that the uh, mark was also in the extreme overbought condition. So to move sideways, which really, in essence, it's doing, I'm going to delete those. A to B equals CD patterns here right now. To move sideways in order to work off an oversold condition, the body of the body of a candle is truly the essence of price, truly the essence of what is going on out here. You ha- you've got to. Is your where's your stop? I suppose is is the first question I would I would ask you. Uh, my stop is uh, at one o six one o six seventy four. 10674. Okay, so you're not giving this much room at at all out there. No, no, not at all because that's just above the uh, the uh, previous high. Okay. Let me let me also so the let me see what the what the signal box shows here. Uh, for its unfair highs and unfair lows. Now, inside the signal box, we're going to take a look at here. Uh, what this is doing, let me find lights. Let's, let's try four different time frames out here. I want to see what price this is posting, 106. Showing 106. Now, I think I, okay, I've got a slight delay. So this is good because it's really taking into account the current contract out here. Uh, in order to be able to use a signal box, in order to be able to find its market profiles, support, and resistance areas, what we have to do with inside the eSignal platform, which is what I'm using here, is we have to stitch together all of the contracts so that it has all of the uh, pricing information, all the volume information, all the information handy out here. And in order to do that, I've got a weird-looking symbol out here. So... You are trading on really a very short time frame out. Well, with having that tight of a stop, what I would first oh, yeah. tell you is that what the uh, the daily chart uh, is still in full bullish mode out here. And it's still in full bullish mode because it's up above its market profile resistance area, which is yeah. 103.58. If you were to see light sweet crude pull back and uh, reject the 103.58 area, you might want to even consider taking some profits out there. Okay. So so you know so you've got you've got the ups you've got the you've got the side of the trade that is covered today so far. Or well, you've got it covered because you've got a stop in place. So you know what your risk is. When you start yep. taking a look at your rewards, and I'm gonna give you some numbers here, so if you write these down so that I don't have to keep track of them, one oh three fifty eight is a potential area of support because that old resistance in essence should become new support out there. So I'd be looking at that area. That's what the daily chart says. What the weekly chart says, so just to give you a longer term time frame, it's saying 102.32. So if price were to crack below the uh, daily area, what you'd be looking for is does 102.32 Hold to the uh, downside. That's okay. what those. In, that's, that's, that's what the longer term charts are are saying. Uh, was that daily that I had? Uh, wait a minute here. Let me make yep. sure. Yeah, no, I want to make sure I gave you the uh, daily. So the daily number 103.58. Was that the number yep. I gave you? Okay, good. All right. 
All right. So now on the on a four hour chart. So now we're going to break it down a little bit further here. What you really want to see, what the message is here inside Light Sweet Crude, says one hundred five seventy six. That is right now acting as a support area. That is your unfair low. That is your support area, and that has held thus far. So the session here on the four-hour chart coming into eight o'clock this morning. You know, I don't. Rec- I wasn't sitting at the computer, so I don't know which numbers were released uh, this morning that had the markets. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we saw commodities move. We saw the markets move, and I apologize. I just wasn't uh, was in the middle of doing something else. But what you're looking at right now, you really want to see 105.76 crack, or at a minimum, you'd like to see 106.56 hold as resistance. So that's above your, that's, that's, that's below your stop point out there. So that's going to be good. That doesn't mean that it can't spike. But 106.56 on a four-hour chart should be a pretty decent uh, resistance zone. And if it gets above that, um, you know, your, your stop may get, uh, may in fact get hit. Now let me go to the 120 minute chart and give you the last bit of uh, news out here. So we take a look at time frames. Uh, it is saying that 106.39 becomes your resistance area. So I'm not, I'm just trying to give you the numbers so that you can, so that you can help to better okay. plan your trade. Now, is what I provided you, is that assisting you or is that confusing you more? Because then I want to try to. No, no, that, that, that explains it. <clears throat> it really does. Uh, Okay, good, good. Those are, those are the areas. Those, those are the areas. Those are the numbers that I would be watching for. Okay. And again, you've got to give more more weight to a daily. You know, certainly more weight to the weekly, then more weight to the 240 to get the uh, trends, and then finally the the 120 minute uh, chart out there. And I'll give you one last one, the 30 minute chart, as we take a look at light sweet crude. And on the 30 minute chart out here, the 30 minute chart unfortunately cracked the unfair high out here so it's it's suggesting on an intraday time period that you know it may want to seek those upper level resistance zones that i gave you on the uh on the other charts out the other time frames out there okay. so does that help you yes sir it does <clears throat> and great great question about the uh, contracts and and so forth and make sure that you are staying with inside the contracts and and if i confuse you just call me and i'll try to <laughs> unconfuse you okay steve you were a help thank you so All right, much th- you bet. That was Mike in Dallas. That was a uh, analysis of light, sweet, crude, taking a look at uh, both A to B equals CD patterns that were going on inside of the uh, contract that he's trading, the August contract out there, as well as the uh, market uh, profiles on multiple time frames out there. So we've got it all here at uh, TFNN. And speaking of having it all, let's go see what is moving inside the uh, markets here today. So to the upside, wow, Netflix, NFLX is the uh, ticker symbol, up uh, a little over 3% this morning. I don't see any news necessarily behind that. Uh, Netflix here taking out some highs. Looks like it's headed to its uh, swing point high. Let me pull this back a bit further. Make sure, yeah, it's headed to its all-time swing point high. So it's a little party being thrown in Netflix. And that is the party where the RSVPs went out on March 6th out there. The price level being the uh, low of 448 99, uh, you are at 444.60 right now. Volume on that uh, swing point is 1.6 million. So there are 1.6 million invitations sent out there. <clears throat> and it looks like, uh, looks to me like this party's got some crashers. Looks like there's some wedding crashers out here because it's being hit already with 966,000 shares. So you've got more shares. You've got more invitations coming into the uh, party. It actually says that Netflix uh, should at least at a minimum go test its uh, swing point high. But when you come into a uh, swing point with volume, that also sends a message that it actually wants higher price out there. Uh, Certainly uh, well above its unfair high out there, so above resistance. Let's take look at a weekly time frame here let's see if there's any weekly resistance out here and what's uh uh no 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 weekly resistance other than the actual swing point itself that's got 8.6 million shares up at that high so far about 2.7 million shares so pretty decent volume inside of uh, netflix as it approaches that uh, swing point and uh boy it takes that area out i guess you could uh that could be one large A to B equals C D to the upside. Let me see the monthly chart out here for uh, Netflix uh, monthly. Let's put that up on the uh, screen. Excuse me while that uh, populates. You can see what I mean when I say one large A to B equals C D to the upside. So on the uh, monthly basis, Netflix is up above resistance as well. 
Man, there's nothing bearish about uh, Netflix. Do not be short uh, Netflix unless you're really trying to sell that uh, top tick somehow. And uh, that uh, swing point high takes you back, what it looks like, to, was it February? 457.70. No, 458, even Stephen. Hey, how about that? One of Basil's round number highs out there. That's the uh, March area. Now, volume wise in the month, 50, 54 million shares, 53 million shares. Boy, it's going to be very light. Well, it looks like it'll be light on uh, volume. Nonetheless, a close. It's it's in bullish mode and should at least test those highs out there. 458, even Stephen. That is on uh, Netflix. Let's go see what else we've got here moving this morning. Uh, you've got uh, GW Pharmaceuticals up 9%. Edwards Life Sciences up uh, 5 Looks like that's trying to come back to uh, life. EW, I think this had gotten crushed in the uh, past. Yeah, it had. But let's go peek in and see what it's got. Uh, Edwards Life Sciences, uh, let me see what is the uh, news behind it. Uh, um Nothing of significance that I see. Nonetheless, let's go take a look at that. Uh, Three dollars and ninety-three cents of five percent here this morning, trying to get up on the uh, daily chart above its resistance level. It's unfair high. Uh, that is priced out at eighty-two thirteen. Right now, it's trading at eighty-two sixty. Looks like uh, volume-wise, uh, not really not too bad, not too shabby out here. Oh, what kind of Kool-Aid was I drinking? Yeah, Edwards Life Sciences. I, I must take that back because this had a nice sign of strength out here. Trading session of, I must have been thinking of something else, of April the 15th. April 15th moves up with about 2 million shares. That was a breakout. Never came back to the actual bottom of the breakout, meaning the April 11th candle session out here. I never even got down to the low with inside the gap that it had created out here. Nonetheless, you've got volume this morning of 250,000 shares, taking out a swing point that's got 1.2 million shares. And trading into about 2.2. So Edwards Life Sciences, it's got some life. Looks like it's going to head back to the May 20th area between 84 to 87 bucks. We'll be right back, folks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability. Available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. I do like looking at those uh, stars. Of course, my favorite place to uh, go look at the uh, stars is the big island of Hawaii out there. What a, a great uh, spot for some stargazing. Let's go uh, gaze at some stars in the uh, markets out here right now. We've got the uh, Dow is uh, off just six points. S&P is uh, flat. NASDAQ uh, composite up 10. Russell's up uh, four points out here. Again, you can see the uh, fight between the bulls and the bears. you got the uh, NASDAQ and the uh, Russell to the up side flat to slightly down in the uh, Dow and the ES Mini. Who's going to be victorious in this uh, fight out here? I'll take the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000 any day of the uh, week out there. In order for these markets to move higher, it's really those two that need to move the markets higher out here. Now, what's going on? Let's kind of a uh, couple of things. One, yesterday we had some phone problems, at least in the early morning session, so I had received some emails from some folks that were calling in and we're trying to find out what's going on with a couple different instruments. Let's take a look at the Great British Pound U.S. dollar. Let's take a look at a, a couple different uh, time frames out here. Let's look at the uh, daily chart in the uh, Great British Pound U.S. dollar. It is trying to get above the uh, swing point. So it's taking a B point out here, which is May 16th. That price at 1.6996. Let me put the uh, uh, relative strength indicator up here. No, it's not uh, over uh, bought at all. A nice wide-ranging bar up there, by the way, at that B point. 169.96, a close above that. That'll go ahead and give you a, a price projection to the upside in the 172-ish area. I'd have to say even 173.70, somewhere right around there, would likely be where the Great British Pound would want to uh, run to. My opinion, you need to be looking. I've said this for a long time. Uh, you need to be looking for long trades, mostly in the Great British Pound, U.S. dollar. Why does Stevie say that? Well, he says that because of this pattern here in the Great British Pound U.S. dollar. This is the weekly pattern out here. The weekly pattern has broken a long, long-term consolidation, four-year, four-plus-year consolidation pattern that began back in January of 2010. And once that was broken, well, it was broken with conviction. That was during the week of February 14, 2014. That signaled that it wants to move eventually up to 180. It's not going to do that overnight. I don't think it's going to do it overnight. That would uh, be one heck of a uh, move out there. Anything can happen. Uh, but it wants to do that over time. Now, what it's dealing with here right now, its last area of resistance happens to be the swing point from August, the week of August 7, 2009, 1 1.704 out there. And once it clears that, there really is nothing standing in its way. There's no base that was formed or anything on a weekly chart that it really has to uh, contend with. And that says that it wants to then go ahead and move up into that 180 area. It won't do it on a straight line move. You know, look for A to B equals CD patterns to the downside, some type of a girtly buy pattern on an intraday uh, time frame or chart out there. Um, but uh, everything looks uh, pretty darn bullish inside the – and on the weekly chart here, 
Uh, it's got this little shooting star that it also created. When uh, we were speaking with uh, Mike in Dallas, we were looking at the uh, August uh, contract uh, for Light Sweet Crude. We noticed yesterday it had formed a shooting star candle. And those are helpful. This is a weekly time frame, so a weekly chart is even more uh, I don't know, it's got, it got more weight on a weekly chart, so that uh, reversal candle is even more important. Likewise, a close above 1.6996, that's the high of that candle. Old resistance should become new support out there. So, folks, it is Terrific Tuesday, and as always, I am really grateful for your presence here today. I do want you to remember this one thing, and that is this. You have an amazing power within yourself. And that power is so strong, it'll create a life of abundance. It'll cure incurable diseases, build billion-dollar businesses, paint beautiful, magnificent masterpieces. But most of all, folks, it'll create fantastic, loving families. Thanks so much for being a part of the TFN family. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you soon. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This is TFN.